Hello friends, it's Shara. Thanks for stopping by. I'm coming on here pretty late in the afternoon. It's about five o'clock on Tuesday night. And um, you know, I've had a few rough days and um, today's the anniversary of my father's death. He died um, 16 years ago today. Um, you know, my little doggy passed and also my granddaughter in New Zealand, um, Ocatalina, who we call Sissy, who I also call Lala, um, is four and she had surgery today. It's the sixth there in New Zealand. And so I've been worried about her, but she has come out of the surgery really well. She had a tonsillectomy, adenoidectomy, um, and grommets in her ears and um, she is doing amazing. She's talking and eating. She had ice cream and a sandwich and carrots and peas. And she's talking. She says she's having no pain. So she is a trooper. So that is all really, really wonderful news. But of course, I have been doing some retail therapy in the last few days. And so um, I have this... Um, package from uh, Children's Salon Outlet for my new baby that's coming in April and um, or I guess he's probably coming in in May but uh, so I wanted to show you um, what I got so here we go I already opened the box just opening the tissue just a few things Oh, this is so cute. This is a little rockety. Um, little summer, spring, summer romper. So cute. In size one month. So cute. It's, um... It's lined and in the blue and white stripes. And it has silver snaps, snaps on the side. Very, very cute. I don't know if the phone shut off there. I guess I'm on low battery, so I can't make a long video. So I really liked that. I was gonna show you the back. This can be worn, um, well, it's gonna be a full body silicone but even on a reborn, it could be worn without a shirt because it doesn't have the crisscross in the back. So I really liked that. I won't take these out of the package. These are um, just baby grows uh, sleep suits, but they're size newborn. But this one is so cute. It has, let me turn it the right way. It has all of these little like camping vehicles and food trucks. Um, super cute. <laughs> Very cute. I really like that. I guess they're not really camping vehicles. They're more like, oh, they're more like food trucks. Yeah, there's a donut and ice cream. And then there's flowers. So, just very cute little caravan of food trucks and service trucks. And then this one is um, helicopters. Same thing, it's a newborn size um, sweet suit. And it's got helicopters and planets. Very cute little cartoony L, uh, hair, uh, airplanes, airplanes, no, helicopters. <laughs> Very cute. I like that. And then the last sleep suit is this one with airplanes. It's got the little biplanes, propeller biplanes and clouds. Very cute. I love these. My little pie is the brand. They come with the cutest designs. So I know I'm going through these really fast, but I'm afraid my camera's gonna die. 
This is another Jockety. This is a one month. Super adorable. I don't think he'll be here in time for Easter, but that's okay. He can wear it next Easter. Next Easter. I can't talk. Next Easter. <laughs> it's a knit um, uh, short, uh, short pant, long sleeve uh, romper with a bunny and a little bird in blue, white, gray, and then the bird is in sort of a teal. It's very nice. Snaps between the legs and it has three buttons up the back. Very sweet. I don't think it's cashmere, but I think it's wool. Or I guess it might be cotton. Um, it's in French, so I can't tell. Pure. Yeah, I, I, it might be cashmere. It feels really soft. It doesn't feel like cotton. Um, it feels like cashmere or very soft wool. So isn't that cute? I love that. Very cute. And then the final thing, um, I've seen a few people, uh, Kelly Girl, uh, no, not Kelly Girl. Yes, Kelly Girl, um, uh, Mona Mili and um, Shelby. They got these really cute um, uh, slippers. Now these aren't for a newborn. I think they're more for zero to three months. I don't think they'll fit a newborn, but these are the cutest little slippers. And I just had to get them because we are a community of enablers. And I hadn't seen these ones, and they had them on the outlet, which was great. How cute. They put a little jingle bell <laughs> on the uh, bag. These are by um, Jones J. It's a, uh, I think it's um, Swiss or Swedish. Yeah, it's Swedish. Um, they're from Amsterdam, but look at these aren't they cute they look like little mice but i guess they're actually little squirrels but whatever they are they are so cute with the little ears and the little heart nose they're perfect for boys or girls they're all um leather on the bottom suede and then they're um furry on the inside and then of course the little ears, aren't they so adorable? So yeah, I think they'll be too big on a newborn, um, depending on the size of the baby's feet, but these will definitely fit. Um, like my Laura sculpt, um, my Inez. Um, they're zero to six months, but they're pretty little. I think they're only four inches long. So anyway, I'm sure you can hear my son in the background. He is playing the game. It is later afternoon. He's home from work. Um, but I did want to come on and show you these things for the new baby and give you an update on how I'm doing. I'm, you know, I have a lot that I've been worrying about the last few days, but, um, you know, I, um, I'm, I'm coping and, uh, you know, trying to stay busy and trying not to shop too much, but uh, I, I shopped on Sunday and uh, Children's Salon Outlet delivered today. So I ordered these on Sunday and received them on Tuesday from the UK. Is that not crazy? That is like better than what I get, the service I get here in the States. <laughs> I order something on, on Sunday and I don't get it until a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I hope you all are doing well. I so, so appreciate all of your loving words and encouragement and support. It means the world to me. Um, I'm, I'm coping and I'm, you know, I know that my Bailey is in a better place. And, um, and you know, I, I just have a he had a heavy heart. I knew the anniversary of my dad's death was today. 
um, Bailey um, passing and then, you know, heavy in my heart that I wasn't there in New Zealand for my granddaughter's surgery. Um, that, that was scheduled after I um, left. I wouldn't have been there, even though I did leave a little bit early, um, I wouldn't have been there if I had kept my original ticket anyway. So my original ticket was for the second and her surgeries for the sixth. So I wish I had been there because then I could have stayed with the kids. So mom and dad could have both gone for um, the procedure because she does have to stay the night at the hospital. But Sabrina stayed home with the twins and the three other kids and daddy was able to take um, Sissy to the doctor, to the hospital and, and is gonna stay with her um, the night. But she's doing super well. We're really proud of her and, and um, you know, kids are just so resilient and she's made a wonderful um, recovery already. And we know that she's going to be hearing better. Um, both of her ears were fully impacted and she had fluid behind her ears. And um, I know when I had my surgery when I was 11, that, uh, you know, the drastic difference in my um, hearing and then of course my speech. And um, so with her, super large adenoids and um, her ears, um, her speech is being affected. So I'm glad that at four, she was able to finally get it done. She's been on the wait list for about a year and a half. And so she, she got it done and now they can start some speech therapy with her. And uh, you'll probably never notice that she ever had a problem because she's, you know, she's young enough that they'll be able to get it taken care of so all good things um still feeling sad but trying to keep myself you know positive and and knowing that everything has been out of love and um you know the decision i had to make for bailey was purely out of love but that doesn't make it any easier <laughs> um you know it, it's it's it felt like the end of an era for me it felt like i lost all three of them and um, they were, a, they, the three of them were a unit. They, you know, we got one, then the next year got the other, then the next year got the, the third. So she was the last of the three. So, and they were truly the three best dogs on the planet. And um, so I really have been feeling like I've lost all three of them uh, all over again. So it, it, it's tough and to, go from feeling like a dog mom of three to having no dogs, it, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's like, okay, so now what I do? I know I won't get another dog. I, I, I travel so much and and I, you know, I, I know I don't have the desire to have, to train a dog to, you know, to, to go through all of that. So, Am I still a dog mom? That's kind of weird, you know? Um, it, it, it's, it, it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with um, and I'm gonna have to go and play with my friend's dogs <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's very weird, but I do appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me and uh, thanks for stopping by and seeing my little my little emotional support retail therapy over here and uh, I'll be back to making videos soon um, now that now that the surgery is over and I don't have that weighing on my mind as well and and you know we just I'm just a worry wart um, she's doing fantastic so I think I'll you know I think I'll start feeling better and and be able to relax but um, so I'll be back to making videos soon I hope you all are doing well and thank you for stopping by. As always, we are sending you wishes of love and light and we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.